Turning to entertainment, Star Trek fans are decrying the latest film in the long-running series as a fun and watchable action-packed thrill ride. Yes, it was exciting, but where was the heavy-handed message about tolerance? Where was the stiff acting? I mean, it just didn't seem like a Star Trek movie to me. I'm just really, really disappointed that this storyline made sense. If I wanted to see young, attractive people uh, doing cool, exciting things, I, I, you know, I'd go watch sports. And with us now to discuss the backlash is entertainment reporter Bree Lindsay. Hi, Glenn. Bree, is this Star Trek as riveting as the fans are complaining it is? Uh, Glenn, early reviews are calling it a delightful action adventure movie and a surefire hit. No wonder the fans feel betrayed here. Apparently, there isn't even one scene set at a long table in which interstellar diplomacy is debated in endless detail. Really? I understand fans were angry that the Klingons' dialogue was subtitled because it allows the Klingons to be understood by people who haven't studied the right. imaginary language yes, for years. Yes, but most fans were more upset by the look of the movie. Mm -hmm. Hard side chases, state-of-the-art CGI, really? and alien battle scenes that don't just look like two out-of-shape guys in bad makeup fighting awkwardly. That's a real slap in the face for Trek fans. Right, yes, but I think the bigger issue is that fans felt like Star Trek belonged to them, and now the studio has turned it into something people will actually like. Whoa. What about the casting of up-and-coming young actor Chris Pine as James T. Kirk instead of the aging, bloated William Shatner? Well, of course, that announcement was a huge disappointment for fans and Shatner alike. A lot of the fans have been saying that this movie sullies the vision of someone called Gene Roddenberry. Right, yes. Yes, Gene Roddenberry was the hack who created the Star Trek television show oh. way back in the 40s or something. So is Paramount doing anything to combat all this negative press? Yes, please? they are. They've announced the DVD release will feature a special cut just for the Trek fans mm -hmm. with three hours of extra footage in which characters stand around debating the merits okay. of saving the Andorian ambassador from the surface of Silax 4 sure. until you just wish everyone was dead. Well, that should be some consolation. Thanks, Bree. Thanks, Glenn. Earlier today, Paramount released this statement to ease fans' concerns. We stand behind this film and firmly believe that in a few years it will seem just as dated and cornball as previous Star Trek films.